guys welcome back to my channel this is Betty owner and creator of Betty's custom designs here on YouTube Etsy Instagram and Facebook so I just wanted to bring you guys along to um, work on a couple of things in Photoshop um, one of the things I wanted to do is I'm in the process of working on a new digital um, design so I figured I would bring you guys along um, I just took that off because somehow I put it as a transparent background and I don't want a transparent background I do want a white background so I'm just working in a new document here and this is more again this is more of a create with me um, design with me um, I have had a lot of feedback that just watching me um, work in um, the Photoshop has helped um, the different ones. And so that's kind of what today is going to be. Um, I'm still definitely way better than I was, but I'm still not back at 100% capacity yet. So I'm just kind of a little slow right now. So you'll have to just kind of bear with me. Um, one of the things I want to import is um, I do have some wood backgrounds that I want to um, I want to use a couple of those. Um, I think those are just beautiful when it comes to um, incorporating roses and that kind of stuff. And whenever I kind of hit my little writer's block or designer's block, I always try to go back to something that I'm comfortable and I'm familiar with to get me out of the rut. And this is one of the things that seems to um, work for me. Um, so I'm just putting some stuff down. I am going to reduce the opacity of this because I do like the blue, but that blue was just way too bold for me. Okay, so let's start building. Let's add some more stuff to this. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here that I have thought about using. So we're just kind of, you know, there's not really a lot that I'm doing. You're just going to see how I kind of start putting some stuff in, um, how I use it, how I end up using it. Um, you know, and some of the stuff that I do, I may, I may not like, and I may completely delete. Um, I have been known to do that quite frequently. Um, you know, when you see the finished design, um, once I say, okay, I'm done and I put it in my Etsy store, um, that may be the 50th time that I had edited and worked on it. I mean, there's just no rhyme or reason. reasoning. Um, it's just one of those things that some days I can just sit down and I can design very quickly and easy. And then other days, it just seems like it takes everything I have in me to um, get a design the way I want it. And the reason I'm telling all of you guys this is because I want you to know that when you feel like you um, have kind of hit a snag and you just don't think you can design anymore or you don't can't design anything, don't think like that. Um, because, you know, we all get to that place where we have hard times and designing can be, um, it, it's one of those things that can be rather tricky. Okay, so what I've just done, and I'm going to work with this a little bit and just see where it goes. I don't know. It may not turn out the way I want it, but we're going to try it. So I just moved that rose image down to um, the layer directly above the blue. I'm going to go ahead and hide this rose over here, and I'm going to hide that lace. So right now, I just want to concentrate on this rose and the blue layer underneath it. Um, I am going to use my um, brush set to clear. And see right here where this says you can now add brush files? Love it. I'm so excited. I haven't added any yet, but I need to. Um, that is just like, I wonder if I have any. I don't know if I even have any brushes in here. I may. Let's see. Nope, none in there. None in there. Okay, so I may not have any brushes on here that I can download but that's just so cool that I can download them um sorry I just kind of went down a little rabbit trail there 
but it's just one of them things and I'm just gonna go down one more rabbit trail because I am just so curious. I am just very curious to see if I have any brushes and if so, if I can import them and if I can actually use them on the iPad. I have not given my seal of approval just yet. They have not, you know, I, I don't know. You know what, let's play with it. Y'all forgive me for just a minute because I, I just have to go down my little rabbit trail. This is one, this is the other thing with me. Um, you will see I will be working on something and then all of a sudden it's just like, boom, I have to go down that rabbit trail. I don't know why, don't ask me. I have no idea, but that's just what I do. Um, let's just pull this. This is just one of them things. It's more curiosity. I don't know that I'd actually use the brush in what I'm doing. But I do want to see. And let's see where it's at. There it is. Let's take it up. That's not what I wanted to do. And I probably could have done this off camera. But, you know, what fun would that be? So now let's try this again. Import from files. Back, 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 downloads. Did y'all just see what I just done? I just, uh, leave it to me. Now, which one did, uh, here we go, let's see. Oh my goodness, did y'all just see that? We have brushes. We have brushes. We have brushes. Oh, sorry. I'm on the wrong layer. Let's try it. <gasps> Hallelujah. Can y'all hear the angels singing? The heavenly choir. <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. This has just opened up so much. Uh, okay, so this was supposed to be about what to do and how to do it. And here I am just working away just playing with brushes so this is honestly this is how i learn a lot of the stuff that i do in um whether it is in um photoshop or illustrator or whatever i just get on here and i play that's honestly that's what i do um i uh, have been playing around with um illustrator the last couple of days and i am having a blast um so, if you don't know how to do something, you know, and if it's something that you need, want to learn or need to learn, just get on there. Just get on there and play. And the more you play with it, the easier it'll get for you. Um, and, you know, it, it, just play around with it. And that way, if you mess something up, it's not the end of the world. Um, so, that's what I do a lot of times is I just, I get on here and I play. Um so that's what I'm doing right now, but I am going to go ahead and stop playing um, because we do need to get some stuff done. Or what I say we, but I really have to get some stuff done because I need to get some, I need to get some uh, papers out and done. Um, it's just one of those things that whenever I start, it's like, uh, oh my goodness, look guys. <sighs> Okay, so we might actually use some of these. Um, yeah, so I, I might not be actually just playing. Um, I may actually use some of these. Um, I'm just trying to look and see. Okay. I am not real sure what that was. Not at all. Hmm. That was a little odd. I don't know if you guys could hear it on the um, camera, but my dogs definitely heard it. Okay, so let's just go back to our regular brushes. Um, and let's go ahead and get the one that I want to get. And let's go ahead and get started working on that. 
Um, someone did ask why I use, or what is the difference between um, using the brush on clear and using the brush, or using an eraser. And the difference is that I have so many different brush types available to me. Um, so I can use the eraser function. Um, like it's basically I'm using the eraser, but I'm able to keep the brush strokes and that's what I want. I want these brush strokes to where um, it textures and you do have some um, erasers that are wonderful, but they don't have everything that I want. Um, so that's why I use um, the clear brush a lot of times. So whenever you are designing, just think of your um, clear brush as just an eraser that has the, um, uh, what would you call it, the features of a brush. So right now I'm just kind of, you know how I like to kind of knock the color down some, take away colored areas that I don't want. Um, I'm gonna knock that down just a little bit because that's just too, bold and out there for me, even though I love the rose. I want to get some of that blue wood background into it. And I don't, I, there's like some feature on my pencil that if I tap it wrong, it erases or it like goes back and I've got to, I've got to disable that feature. So see, this is how I start out. I really don't know. Like right now, I'm, I have no idea what this paper is going to look like. I don't have a clue what I want it to look like. Um, I don't know what all I want on it. I don't. I just, I just sat down with images and I just start um, playing with them until, you know, I'll get something that I like and then I'll just kind of go with it from there. Um, there are some that I have sat down and I have done five or six papers, you know, and I think that I'm going into a kit with it. And then that's as far as they go. I just, um, for whatever reason, there's something about it that I just don't like. So let me unhide this. Let me select this and make it a little bigger maybe. I don't know that I actually want it bigger, but we're just gonna, like I said, we're just playing around at this point. I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna do the same thing with this little piece of lace. Um, you know, and I may not even want the lace on here, but that's okay. That's the one good thing about working in layers is I can hide it. Now, if I wanted to um, work on this layer and, you know, taking away some that I, that like I'm taking away, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I do want the lace. I could have put a mask on top of this, um, this lace and I could have done the same exact thing, but it would have been in a mask layer. And I'll do that with the, um, the flower so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's for people like me that are just very indecisive and <laughs> and that's probably what I should have done with this but I didn't I'm just too excited about the brushes I cannot tell you guys how excited I am that Photoshop has now allowed the brushes to be imported on iPad now the next thing they need to do is give me the full function of my clipping mask and if they can do that oh they will be my friend. Well, they'd even be my friend more if they could figure out a way that they would just let me buy my subscription rather than having to, the only thing you can do is pay monthly or yearly. Which is crazy, because I am one of those that, if it's something I'm gonna be using, I just wanna go ahead and buy it. You know, even if it's expensive, I wanna go ahead and buy it and be done with it. I don't want to be paying monthly or what have you. 
Okay, so I'm thinking I'm actually liking that. Let me take a little bit more off right there. Okay, now let's unhide this, um, the rose. Now I am going to add an adjustment layer, so or a mask. So I just put a mask on it, but it's going to be exactly as though as I was working on this layer itself. So I'm doing the exact same thing. And I'm, on, I'm going to do quite a bit on this so that I can just show you what the um, masking a layer does. And let me just really get, let me get rid of this right here so that you can see. Okay, so I've done this here. And then I say, oh, I really didn't want to do that. I can come over here and I can go right here and I can go delete mask. And there it is. It's right back to where it was. I haven't touched anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add another mask back. And now I am just going to work on it the way that I want to. Um, and I'm not sure that I want all of that um, greenery in it. I don't know. We'll just see. Like I said with me, I just... Designing is so weird because there's no... For me, I mean, and it may not be this way with everybody that, you know, every designer. Um, I have found, though, that my designs have a lot to do with how I'm feeling. Um, a lot to do with you know things that are going on around me um, even down to my colors that I choose designs that I choose um, I have found that I tend to go back to um, like roses a lot whenever I'm just needing that um, like you know how a lot of people go to food like a comfort food well um, I don't eat much and haven't been able to eat much for quite some time now and food used to be my drug. I <laughs> told my doctor, I said, food is my drug of choice. What you talking about? And um, so now I can't go to food as my um, escape. So what I have found that I do is I actually use my, um, my designing and my um, creativity as my um, drug of choice. I, for want of a better word, I don't know what else to call it. Um, I was speaking with someone the other day and, you know, they were talking about, they know I'm busy and yes, I am extremely busy, but this is, um, what I have found that I use quite often as my, um, the way I relieve my stress. Um, when I've had, you know, a stressful day at work, I just, um, I come home and I'll just sit down and design, um, so, you know, that's just a heads up for you guys. So when you see me putting like five and six designs a week in my store, or you see me turning out them labels like crazy, you know, and I'm just every, you know, couple hours I am, you know, uh, adding another kid or something in the store, then you better believe I have had me some stressful days. <laughs> so that's just a little hint to let you guys know y'all can tell exactly how my mood is and the other hint which y'all can't really see because i don't really show my face on here much i'm so sorry um my eyes always give me away because i don't know why but when i think about my color eyes i honestly see myself with brown eyes i know i know i'm crazy Okay, so let me tell you how I really see myself. I see myself as five foot eight. Mm -hmm. I am four foot ten, but I see myself as five foot eight. I see myself, so I see myself as tall. I try to see myself as skinny, but yeah, that's not happening. Um, and then I see myself with brown eyes. Don't ask me why. The only thing I can think of is that my oldest daughter has brown eyes. So maybe that's why I see myself as having brown eyes because she looks so much like me. Um, so I do have very odd colored eyes, especially for my skin tone. Um, and I'll be in the store somewhere and, um, and I know people think I'm crazy, but my eyes change colors. 
there I never know what color my eyes are and I'll be in the store and somebody will be like oh my god your eyes and I'm like uh okay and they're like they're just you know what and I'll be like oh well what color are they right now and they look at me like I'm crazy which yes I am crazy I know but anyway see another rabbit trail so let me get back to another way that you can tell my mood um and all of my children have learned this and my husband he has never had a reason to learn this so he really doesn't know um when I am mad or upset my eyes go the prettiest color green you can imagine. Like they literally go this color green right here. No kidding, no joke. I think I have one or two pictures of my eyes at that color. And so um, when my eyes are that color, that's a good telltale sign of how I'm feeling. But since you guys can't see my eyes, y'all will just have to um, rely upon my artistic uh, abilities or inabilities should I say <laughs> so yeah I'm one of the crazy ones I know I know hush shell hush shell hush shell <laughs> yep so I did have an interview um today is actually I don't know Wednesday this will go up on Thursday um, but I did have an interview this morning um, with another job. It's still within the um, prison system. It's still, it would be just a transfer. But um, it would be with policy management versus um, inmate litigation. So it, it would still be a very stressful position, which I'm okay with the stressful positions. But it would be a different kind of stress. Um, so I am really praying that I get that position. Um, so you guys keep me in mind, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and help me pray. You know, I don't want to do, I don't want to make rash, crazy moves, but I also don't want to stick around and, you know, keep getting stressed. I mean, I love my job, so I don't know who I'm kidding. Y'all will figure me out one day. And as y'all can see, I am just like throwing stuff on here. I am just creating a way and I really, you know, not a clue what I'm actually doing. Um, but this is how I design. This is how my, this is how my designs start. Um, like I said, I never ever know what I'm going to do. I don't even know when they're finished until they're finished. Like, I can't look at this page and say, oh, it's close to being done. Mm -mm, I can't tell you that because I don't have a clue. Um, I'm just hiding that for a moment because I think that may be just a little too much. Or maybe it's the cup that's too much. What about if I hide them both? I'm liking that better right this minute. So see, I, this is, um, as I go along, I'll see things that I like or dislike. And um, I may put a bunch of stuff on here and then end up hiding a lot of it um, because I don't want to use it, you know, because I don't like the way it looks or um, what have you. So, um don't be afraid to put stuff on your images at all. Um, put stuff down, you know, because you can always move it. You can always change it. Um, you can always hide it. Um, and I'm trying to move this one. And I'm just going to go down here. Yeah, I think I like that better. Let's see. What about one of those brushes? That, um, a scene that was on the typesetter. They had ink spot, fine print, newspaper woman, photo, brown lithographer, meander printer, typesetter, cutting machine, parchment page. Um, black frame cover, blank page, typesetter, stamped alphabet, printer flourish. 
let's just see what this is. Oh shoot, I was on the wrong layer. I want to, let me add a layer. But I want that layer up here. Okay, so now let's see. I didn't do it the way I want it. So let's, let's do this. Let's cover this layer. Oh, well, duh. No, it's not going to do that. I still have my brush set on clear. Oh, you guys see. There we go. Ooh. I like that. Check that out. Okay. Let's see what else we can play with here. Let's see. We gonna just have some fun with our brush, maybe. Well, I guess it is putting it on there, but it's just light. So now I just need to figure out how I would darken it, but I don't know. So we're just gonna keep playing for a moment. Um, let's see what this is. But what about if I change the color? I gotta get a color that's gonna kind of match. Okay, and what about if I put it at um I don't know what color brown would do, but let's try it just puts it in there and it's a little dark. I mean, you can kind of see it, but not a lot. Um, which on some of this, that's good because that's what we want. Oh, well, it might've helped if I do the opacity up. See, there we go. Huh. Okay, I think this page is real close to being done, but I, don't, I do think it needs something else. Let me do this. I think I know what I want to put. I am going with like these pale colors here like the pinks and blues so let's put that let's put it on brush let's go back to our regular brush and I am going to go down to mix splatter I'm gonna bring the brush size down I've got it at 200 I'm gonna bring the opacity to about 63 and let me put a layer on that, just because I'm not sure. And I don't, it's not like wanting to let me do that. I'm gonna delete that mask, so let's do this. Oh, see, this is what I've done. I have it on darker color. You guys, why aren't y'all telling me this? Oh, you guys, y'all have to tell me. Okay, so let's put it on clear. That's better. Guys, y'all gotta tell me this stuff. <laughs> so today, you know, I had my interview today, and then um, my day, it's just been crazy. Like this morning, it started crazy. When I got up this morning, I got my stuff together. Um, in the bedroom and I went to draw my water because I like to take a bath in the mornings and just kind of soak for a little bit and drink me some coffee and I'm looking at the tub and the water is st steady right but it's just not getting much water in it and normally it fills up very fast I'm like what in the world is going on well then I look and dummy forgot to pull the thing to um, keep the water in so I'm like, oh my goodness, okay. So I get that done and I go to look for my phone. Can't find my phone nowhere. So I go back into the bedroom. I'm looking for my phone. Surely I've left it on the bed. No, nope, nowhere to be found. My phone's on silent, so I can't hear my phone. Needless to say, I'd put it in a bag. I had it. I mean, it's just been something like that all day long today but you know what i'm alive i am kicking i am well i am happy 
So, if that's all I have to complain about, I think I'm doing okay. Ah, yes, there we go. Do I want to darken that butterfly? I mean, take anything out of that butterfly? There was this colored one. Let me, let me just look and see which one I want. I want that one. So, let's get rid of this one. And let's move this one. And that's it. I'm calling this one done. So, I know it wasn't much of a tutorial, you guys. I, I get it. And I'm sorry if it's... But I just wanted you to um, see how I... How, what my thought process is when I am designing, when I am creating. And, and realize that it, there's no... There's no rules whatsoever to how I design this and how I do any of my designs. I just have to sit down and just kind of go with it. And so the reason I'm telling all of you guys this is, you know, just because you don't think you can do something does not mean that you cannot do it. And um, just sit down and, you know, the first 50 images you may not be happy with maybe more in my, like in my case but at any rate you just start setting down and you start designing you may do like I said there may be 50 that you do and you're like there's no way I'd ever let anybody see those but the more you do it the more comfortable you get working with Photoshop the more comfortable you get with working collaging and um, and that's just how it how it happens. That you just you have to start somewhere. So just sitting there and thinking that you can never do it or you can never do the designs like somebody else does. Or no, you can't. Until you actually start doing it, you're not going to be able to do it. So for all of you out there that think you cannot do this, go back and watch my video on how I got started and how long I have been doing this kind of stuff. And I promised you. <laughs> I promise if I can do this, all of you can do this. So, and I do want to thank each and every one of you for your support of my channel. It is overwhelming. I cannot tell you how it does. Oh my God, Betty Renfro, stop tearing up. I am such a sap today. Anyway, it does my heart so good whenever I post a video and then I start seeing all these comments come in and these likes and it's, I cannot tell you guys what it has done for me. Um, one day I will share part of my story as to um, what ended me up in the situation that I ended up in. Um, I'm just not comfortable sharing that yet um, because there's some things that I'd rather just let go, but, um, you know, there's some part of that story that will help others. And one day, you know, one day when the time's right, maybe. But until then, I am just so thankful for each and every one of you. Um, again, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment like y'all have been doing. Um, and when we get to 500 subscribers, we will... Um, do something, uh, either a contest, a drawing, I don't know, we'll figure it out um, for one of the envelope journals that I list in my um, Etsy store. And I don't, you know, we'll figure out at that time if we want to use one that I have already made or if we want to make one um, tutorial with it and then, you know, what to, after we get done, use that for the um, giveaway. I don't know. We will get it figured out there. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and hopefully I'll be back every day this week. And thank you for all of the thoughts and prayers while I have been sick. So, bye guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.